Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and the WD MyCloud finally has the ability to back up your phone's camera roll automatically, which has been lacking for a very long time. Uh, they just pushed a new app update as well as a new update for all of their devices, and now it works. And I should disclose at the outset here that WD uh, occasionally sponsors videos on this channel. This video is not sponsored by them, but we will be taking a look uh, with a sponsored video at the new operating system, which we'll be doing shortly. But I wanted to do this video first because this has been something people have been asking about uh, for quite some time. So let's see how it works. We're going to set it up on my iPhone right here. And what I'm going to do is just go into my settings. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see auto backup. And we're going to turn that uh, little switch over there on. And I'm going to select my WD MyCloud downstairs. And what I did before I started shooting the video was set up a folder that's accessible only to me on my MyCloud. And that's the folder we're going to be putting uh, these photos into. And that's the lawn photo folder at the bottom there. I already created an iPhone folder within that share for these files to be located in. So I'm going to select that and then hit select. And uh, you'll see there's a couple of other options here. Once I selected that folder, uh, you have the option to whether or not to use your data plan. So if you are away from home, you can decide whether or not to transfer those photos and video uh, with your cellular connection or have it wait until it gets to a Wi-Fi uh, spot in order to do that. And I would recommend uh, probably waiting until you get home because these files, especially on the newer iPhones, uh, take up a lot of room on your device, which means that they will take a lot of data to transfer. Now this new functionality also also works on Android phones too. So I'll take a couple of shots here on my Android phone and then we will switch over to my Mac. It takes a minute or two for the photos to appear depending on uh, conditions, but generally those photos do uh, tend to pop up pretty quickly. So you saw one just came in right there. We should see the second one pop in shortly after that. Uh, these phones take enormous pictures now. We're looking at three or four megs a piece, but uh, there's one of the photos that we just took and uh, there's the other one. So you can see they do come in very, relatively quickly uh, when you're on a Wi-Fi network. They'll just back up to your MyCloud and you'll have uh, access to them uh, after they copy. And what's cool is that it also does the videos and you could just decide to lump uh, the pictures from all your devices into one folder or split them up into different folders. You can make a publicly accessible one for the whole family or just have them reserved for you. You really have some flexibility as uh, to where these photos back up. And it's a feature that's been a long time coming because I know a lot of people who have uh, written in have asked that question and now uh, it is implemented. So stay tuned. We're going to be loading up this MyCloud EX2100 very shortly with the new operating system and I'll be uh, stepping through some of the differences with that in an upcoming video. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. Thank you.